Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Boom Beach video. We don't really have a clear-cut agenda for today, but there is this one resource base that I've traded back and forth with this person for many times, but it's been a while since I've tried to take it back, and it's a pretty difficult resource base. I'm going to be trying it out with warriors, um, a little precursor to that. Don't flame me for my warrior attacks. Actually, you can because I deserve I played Boom Beach long enough, I should be able to do decent warrior attacks. So this one, usually I'll attack it with Scorchers, but it's still pretty difficult. Um, there's just enough Boom Cannons, and also it like hogs the beach here where you don't have any landing room. So we're going to have to be careful of that. There's definitely harder resource bases out there, but this is the most difficult one on my my map and probably the most difficult one I've ever attacked. I remember back in the resource base prime there was some pretty hefty ones I saw on YouTube probably from like Nick at Night and all that throwback to that time but let's get going for this one we're gonna get them flared to a boom cannon in the middle there and here we go we'll just flare right to the outpost and we should be good so I think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna throw a box of critters kind of in that clump and then a revive or a remote defib to the right there kind of get some like critter type stuff spawned there we go we'll pop it early because i'm not sure how quickly um it, it actually respawned but it looks like by the time um the smoke came off the warriors there it, it, i think the remote defib troops were already dead so that was a bit unfortunate i thought it would take a little bit longer than that but I think I'm going to be lame here and switch to mechs and Dr. Vitamins. By the way, guys, Boom Beach has given us five Boom Beach fan kits to give away. And we're going to be doing that over the next week over on our Discord server. They're a pretty popular giveaway item. I don't think Boom Beach sells them anymore. So the only way you can really get them is through giveaways. You get a cool plushie in it and some other goodies. It's pretty easy to join. Just head on over there. Link in the third line of the description. You do have to be 13. Otherwise, it's open to anybody. Drop a meme while you're over there and a YouTube suggestion. Back to it. Would you look at that? I am a sucker for heart-based designs like this, but it's not going to matter. We're still going to take you out with the mechs and doctor vitamins. I did this earlier in the week when I tried out my mechs and rifleman swarm video, which, uh, you know, the rifleman, it, it didn't go that well with the rifleman, but then we plugged some mechs in instead and they did considerably better so we are going back to it making more of a dedicated video to it and just appreciating um being able to use the doctor vitamins uh, effectively of sorts because they actually do provide a good boost to the max and you know gives them a little bit extra damage health and movement speed with each one and it, it's quite helpful to the max would it be better on scorchers yeah, probably, but where's the fun in that? The max are the newest troop. You gotta show them some love, let them develop into their thing. But it seems like they just released the max to not really want to touch them anymore. And the sad part is, max do not get revived by a remote defib or Dr. Kaban's second wins. And I know this this heart-based design at first, I was like, um, you know, I was kind of blushing by it. I was like, oh, that's that's cute. And now here we are losing a few max, and I am. Um, uh, I'm starting to get a bit nervous here, but as soon as we get past these boom cannons, should be no problem. Only one more to go, and then the shock launcher down that goes, so we are going to be fine, but we did lose a considerable amount of max, which is sad, but it's only going to cost us a little bit extra gold, um, so definitely worth it. By the way, I didn't even talk about it. I thought that resource base, I thought it would take a couple attacks with me, but I think, uh, you know, boosting up the GBE definitely helped me out a bit there. And it wasn't as hard of a resource base when you use a troop combo like Smoky Warriors. So if you're having trouble clearing a resource base, which odds are you aren't because you're either um, used to taking out resource bases or they're not that hard to you or you don't care about resource bases. Um, but I, w when I was doing my only... This was like a year ago already, but push to a thousand with only one strat, the the Scorchers and Bombardiers, yeah, it would have trouble against that base. We would still take it out, but it would be like, you know, the heart, heart racing a little bit halfway through the attack. You're like, my oh my, there's only like a few boom cannons here, but they are destroying me. 
and then the rocket launchers they always give you that little bit extra anxiety too because at any point they can just switch up and go on your bombardiers and that is no bueno but yeah with the warriors it was quite easy just flaring past and then getting that box of critters in the remote deep vent to distract but here we go with the second battle and we haven't lost a single mech now that was that this base had no focus on defenses so it's a good we did lose a mech oh my gosh we lost a mech at the last second but you know we'll take it we'll take it we'll give that person the diamond or two that their base generated but look at that 700 over 700,000 gold i'll take it for sure worth that trade <laughs> can you guys tell i don't like attacking the ice bases there is so many clumped up here and by ice bases i don't mean well i kind of do mean like ice statue bases but i mean bases in the arctic region up there i just like the the green aesthetic the coloring it's like you're attacking this it should white overpowering all the colors just bouncing off the base you're like give my eyes a break here and then you, you switch to the bases in the in in the like forest region <laughs> i don't even know what you would call that the green biome and it's like nice and calm on your eyes almost nice to look at but here we are we ran out of options and now we have to go for the ice biome here um but let's go ahead get rid of these boom cannons and doom cannon at the back there and then right here there is some trouble with the shock blaster and the boom cannon but we have only lost one mech at this point that is good news we still have potential to lose another but we are rapidly approaching this hq let's get a flare on it they took out that other boom cannon but it looks like we have lost two more mechs totaling three but the good news is the doctor vitamins are doing a great job not getting taken out it seems like if it was medics they would somehow there's always like no matter how good your attack is if you're using a medic strat okay i guess we did lose a doctor vitamin maybe they are the same but i was gonna say it seems like we always lose a medic no matter how clean no matter how much you try and keep them back even if you don't deploy them somehow they'd be dying so obviously not but it just feels that way and then the doctor vitamins out here i was trying to hype them up being like yeah you're better than medics you don't die and then it turns out one did so Truly sad story. This story came full circle, not in a good way. Um, but we're gonna go ahead, and this base is quite intimidating. You know why? Because these shock blasters, they really, they they really be giving my max a hard time here. Don't you think the max are slow enough? Shock blasters, just just have some mercy. You know, realize the situation. Like these troops aren't even really moving right now. But no, you gotta shoot out your bullets anyway. You know, freeze them back, do quite a bit of damage. It really makes me mad. Um, but we're Al Bundy here. We're going to get a shock onto that shock blaster. And they have taken a couple of our mechs lives. There are a couple mechs that are holding on by a thread. Let's get a double mech hit on this side. Slowly tick up the health. I think I missed the one that actually needed the... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no, are we gonna lose? I think we're gonna lose. I didn't realize how much my mechs were struggling on the HQ there, but the good news is they are beefy boys. They do, they, they're able to take a considerable amount of damage without dying here. Now, that one's probably gonna drop here, bummer. But the good news is we can hopefully keep spawning critters. The bad news is there is a hot pot directly behind that HQ just soaking up those critters and they are not doing a great job distracting you know we need those critters to collect but will it matter i don't think it will we have ever sparked doing enough damage and just enough mechs alive to actually beat that base final attack for the day and then we have to go say goodbye to our dr vitamins which is sad but the good news is well i don't know if it's good news but they're basically medics so it's like they never even we're here and at the same time they're they're not really gonna be but that's okay you know i like to think the doctor vitamins had an impact and they definitely did in my in my hammerman video the imitation game 
with Private Bullet. They were actually healing Private Bullet a good amount. I talked about how with medics, they seem to prioritize themselves over the other troops or, or whatnot. And then with the Dr. Vitamins, if Private Bullet was only like one HP down, they would all just focus him. And that was very helpful because then Bullet was actually getting some healing along the way instead of just having some medics healing up each other behind him. It was very nice because Bullet was able to take out the entirety of Imitation Game by himself. Of course, with 40 doctors in the boat, but they, they were... Um, they were helpful, but not on the damage front. But here we go, and we are going to be able to take it out. I hope there is still a couple boom cannons here that are picking away. But that's that's a uh, Max and Doctor Vitamins. I wonder how it would have went if I used two extra boats and Max there instead of the Doctor Vitamins. Probably similar results with with troops so healthy like the Max. You know, ten. 10 Dr. Vitamins aren't, aren't going to make that much of a difference, but, you know, it's all about the unseen that uh, the Dr. Vitamins are providing. Let's convert some, and then we have new tribes in 7 hours. That was going to boost one up, maybe, but that would not make sense. We're just going to wait and sit on our raw crystals, but thanks for making it to the end. Again, to join our giveaway, head over to our Discord server. Link in the third line of the description. Not many people have been joining the giveaways the last few times um, we've, we've done them, so you probably have a good chance of winning if you do enter. Of course, by saying that, maybe that would... that Like, I'm trying to get more people over there, so maybe this time... There will actually be a lot of people. Doesn't matter. Still go over there and enter. It's a cool fan kit. But we'll see you guys in tomorrow's Boom Beach video. Bye-bye.